Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a grocery haul and also I'm going to teach you a few Japanese words that could come in handy. Maybe you live here in Japan, maybe you're planning to come here to Japan. I was going for a walk today doing some errands and I came across a bunch of these little stores. You know, you have a yasaya-san, you have a panya-san, you have tofu-yasan, sakana-yasan. And today specifically we went to a yasaya-san and a sakana-yasan. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds so long, sakana-yasan, sakana-yasan. I'm going to show you what I got at the yasaya-san and I'm also going to teach you a recipe. If you like these kind of videos don't forget to give it a thumbs up it will really help my algorithm and I'm really loving the comments that everyone is leaving me I love talking to you guys it's always so lovely also has anyone noticed that I actually cut my hair I usually do have bob but this time I went a little shorter than I usually go and I actually really like it so first things first the courgette or zucchini in Japanese would be zucchini, which is the same thing. Um, so that's good. You'll find that most Japanese words are borrowed from foreign languages, so like either from Portugal, the UK, Germany. So we got a really good deal on this one. Usually they're about 200 yen for one, and we got 200 yen for both of them, so that was really good. So zucchinis, I like to just chop them up. I like to roast them. Uh, they taste delicious roasted. I'm also very curious in doing a zucchini pasta, so I'm going to look up on that and see what I can come up with. So this next one is a classic staple that we have in our fridge all the time, bell peppers. In Japanese it's called paprika, but you have to be really good with your intonation and you have to say every syllable because otherwise they might not understand you, so you have to say paprika, paprika. And this one is so big, I've never seen it this big. I believe this one we also we paid about like 100 yen, it's so big. Like, it is literally the size of my face. So this one I like to chop it quite finely and sometimes in strips so that I can put it in my salads. It tastes so good. It gives you that like extra crunch that you need for a good healthy salad. Next we have broccoli that, you know, we don't often buy because it can sometimes be pricey depending where you get it from. I think this one we probably paid 200 yen on it, so it's not too bad at all. And in Japanese, you would call this broccoli. If you're ever looking for broccoli, and yeah, I thought it was a nice, nice chunk of it. So, by the way, I still have to like wash these. So, if they look kind of dirty with um, some soil, it's because they're literally, I literally just got them. So, and this again, I like to roast it. Um, I like to sometimes half steam the stems and I like to put a little bit of like Japanese mayo on top. I find it tastes really good. So next up, and now don't kill me, I know that it sounds that most words are basically the same. And we'll get to the ones that are not the same, but it's very important to be able to pronounce these vegetables correctly because trust me, they will not understand. The next one is one of my favorites. It is these heirloom tomatoes. These are called tomato and I just love them like you know just looking at them makes my mouth salivate because growing up my my father's Portuguese. Quick story I am Brazilian my mother is Brazilian dad is Portuguese so he would slice this into like round slices and then put some mozzarella or like olive oil and a bit of salt and it just tastes so good. This I believe it wasn't also that expensive maybe about 200 yen which I found really good for three large size tomatoes because usually here in Japan you would pay about a hundred yen for one tomato. Unfortunately it came in a plastic bag but we got this much of tomatoes. You say it mini tomato in Nihongo. I just really love them because again you can just slice them in half add them to a salad and it's very simple. So this next one I it's Aspara and can I just say can I just point out like look at this chunk of asparagus Now if I was to buy this in the supermarket I believe they usually just sell like three together and it's probably like 
300 yen or something but i think we bought this whole bunch for like 300 or 400 yen it's so good especially now that you know we're always at home we eat a lot of veggies okay so for some actual japanese lessons next up we have ninjin so carrots and we got four i believe I don't know, it was quite inexpensive as well. So yeah, ninjin is one of my favorites since I was a kid. I love to eat them raw, I love to steam them, I love to roast them. We use this a lot, it's horenso, and we use this a lot, spinach. And it's really interesting because the Japanese spinach is very different to the kind of spinach that I grew up with. It was not this shape, definitely not this shape. Look at it. But we got this bunch for about 98 yen. And I thought that was very, very cheap. So this, I usually like to throw these in smoothies or I like to add them a little bit for my salad. And for my last vegetable for today, I bought some jagaimo and I believe this is called shin jagaimo. Shin jaga. Shinjaga, which means new potatoes. We went to a different yasaya-san. We got this at another place just because the one that we had just gone to did not have any potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight potatoes for about 280 yen. After buying some yasai, we went to get some fish because we eat a lot of fish, mainly because I am pescatarian. We bought something called hotate, which is scallop and it was hotate sashimi and we actually ate it already so i don't have any visuals so we got some salmon which you can also say shake so usually we have this roasted as well of course that's not all the vegetable i have in my fridge so now that you've seen everything that i bought today i'm going to make dinner right now because i'm starving and I'm going to show you guys my favorite roast. It's just roasted salmon and veggies. And I know that's super simple. But if you're like me who loves to watch cooking videos, let's do this together. How is it? Mm. I'm going to get a bit of the paprika, a bit of the onions, and some potato. Mmm! Mmm!
this is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed learning some new words do not forget to give this video a thumbs up maybe subscribe if you're new and also you can leave me a comment any comment bye